What in the world is life? Beautiful. What look, a perfect day. Look at this. Look at this magical Gifford Pincho. Like where the clouds are right over the trees. It's literally a painting. The Giffy Pinchy. Giffy Pinchy. So, the Lazy Brook coming at you for the first video edition. Yeah, from like kind of a lazy brook. We're going we're into gonna, a little creek We're area. gonna find a lazy brook for yeah. us. And then we will commence the episode from there. For now, it's just a lazy lake. The lazy lake. <laughs> we are being very lazy. But you guys, you have to see the the water here. It's a little gross, right? It looks looks a little bit swampy, a little bit scuzzy. A little bit. But Lots it is magical when you go into it. Look at that. Would you look at that? What blows my mind is like this is its whole own little community of plants and It's nuts. It's a crazy place. So you're gonna see some more of that. And we're gonna try to think of some stuff to talk about for the podcast. Yeah. We'll see you then. Giffy Pinchy out. World of the Lazy Brook listeners. Coming to you live from Gifford Pinchot. The Gifford Pincho of the underwater forests. Hold on. Hold on. Underwater forests there we go. do exist. We're traveling back towards a little creek. We like to go back there because it's quiet. No one's ever there. I don't think a lot of people know about it. People don't travel that far. There's a, there's some kayakers coming right now, but they won't come this far. And if they do, they're going to be in the episode. So <laughs> surprise! Surprise! We're on our podcast now. Whether you gave consent or not. <laughs> so this is our third time camping. We yeah. went to Gifford Pincho first. Then last weekend, Little Mexico. This weekend came back to Gifford Pincho. We had a long weekend and Zach's like, we kept talking about all these different places we could go. Zach goes, let's just go back to Pincho. We know we like it. We kind of know the campground now. And I would say after being here twice now, I think we know the campground pretty well. Yeah. We know where the dog section is. I can promise you that. We know the dog section. We don't get lost as bad. We don't fight when we show up to the campground and we're like angry over the directions. Right. We know what we're doing. So things are improving. We have a uh, gray waste bucket now which is a good thing to have we're getting things figured out little by little every trip we're like getting more things but at every trip we're also thinking of all the things that we forgot so i have an ongoing list in my phone where i'm like we remembered the bucket this time but we forgot this 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 and this what are the things we forgot this time so this time um some little things like i forgot my headphones for running um, and doing yeah stuff. we didn't bring enough sandwich containers uh, yeah we ran out of um, sunscreen possibly sunscreen yeah like random little things but and we keep being so hard on ourselves like, how could we forget that but it's so much to remember when you can Thing. Hey, we're just gonna have to go get more sunscreen. We had enough for today. Yep. We have the 100 SPF if we want to use it, but things are gonna work out just yeah. fine. Yeah, and from what we've been told from all of our camping expert friends, they say it just takes time. Like after several trips, maybe months and months of trips, you're finally kind of got it down. I think we're getting a good routine yeah. when it comes to setting up the camper. We set up, we break down, we both have tasks to accomplish. Yep. We're getting more team oriented in that respect. Man, and when you're out here camping, you just literally, you can't be upset. Mm -hmm. Nothing's wrong Even in the world. Even if it's rainy, it isn't that bad. And you know, being out here, we just looked at our watches and we said, oh, it's 1 p.m. on a Friday. This is pretty sweet. People I, are working most times right, right. Now. We should be at work. But it's, nope. Isn't it the best feeling when you take a day off work and you just think to yourself, I should be at work right now. But instead, I'm here. Instead, it's I'm beautiful. doing this. So, if anybody camps highly recommend taking Friday off for the extra Definitely. day of adventure because we showed up early this week at Gifford Pincho and Thursday night there was maybe 10 15 people in the campground compared to 100 or 200 <laughs> yeah last time when we showed up on a Friday so Thursdays are the way to go if yep. you're camping at state parks in Pennsylvania you show up before the crowds and then 
you get to watch everybody else set up on Friday when yep. you're relaxing and sipping your iced tea. It gives you, yeah, it gives you the extra day of so many activities and it's not flies. crowded. Oof. We have really enjoyed riding our bikes around the campground too to kind of scope out what spots we want to go to next time. So we have a map and we ride our bikes around and we're like, look at that spot near the bathhouse, near the water, it's lots of shade. Spot. We like it. So we go back to the camper and we highlight the spots we want to stay at. We got Another really time. lucky this time with our campsite. It has yeah. enough spots and room for like the hammock, the clothesline, the camper, the canopy, nice little fire pit. We actually had a fire last night. The first time we went camping that we actually started a fire for ourselves because it's always been so hot at night. Right. It was fun, but we were so tired from unpacking, going for a bike ride to Forey's that we're like, oh, yeah, all right, let's just course. go to bed. We sat at the fire for like 15 minutes. We were just too we tired. We let three logs burn and then we were all done. <laughs> good night. Wrapped but Forey's was fun. Forey's was good driving. Stuff. Yeah. It was good. We got honey dipped chicken. Check out this inchworm that is on Steph's kayak. Guy. <laughs> I didn't even think you knew he was there. He blends in. We also have a little friend back here. It's a little uh, fishing lure. I don't think you can even see it. You can't even see him, but we're keeping him on there to see how long he can hang on. He's made it like a month and a half. Pretty impressive. So far. So yeah. We got some uh, Gifford Pancho. Yeah. Got some inflatable kayaks coming in. Yeah. There. Oh my. We have to check out the underwaterness again. Bloop. I should have swam, huh? There we go. You should have. Uh, we have them back at the camp, but maybe tomorrow. They're in there? The coat? I think so. Oh, gosh. There we go. Because I can get his goggles out and swim tomorrow. You can swim right up to the camera underwater. That'd we'll be swim cool. later. That'd be a cool shot. We're going to swim later. I'll go swimming by like 3 p.m. I'll be swimming. There we go. Okay, right now it is 1.49, so that's promised, folks. 3 p.m. I'll be swimming. It's going to be hot. Swimming. We will check in with you then. Thanks for joining us on the actual Lazy Bro. Inflatable kayaks for you. Pretty nice. Get a kayak and go uh, go out on it. Do it. It's a good time. There's a bridge. That's where we usually get in at over there, yep. actually. It's a beautiful little spot. It's a good spot. Oh, my. Lazy Brook out. We're back at it. It's us again. Us again at the Lazy Brook. Almost at the Lazy Brook. We're making our way. It is getting quite swampy. A bit lily paddish and a lot of algae, as you can see. But man, we got a beautiful day of weather. What is the temperature right now? 80. 81. 81 degrees. And it is perfect. Perfect out. It's one of those moments where you're like, I think I could be in this spot with this weather with this person forever. Like, oh now, come ideal. on. Forever? This is pretty ideal for me. Being in the sun, hanging out with you, no place to be. You gotta eat sometimes. Oh, we got food. For a, a You know one, we brought the snacks. One meal of snacks, maybe. We could survive for a day, people. I but think. you know what I mean? Like it's just it's not an ideal situation. Chef's kiss. It is beautiful. Now, Steph had some phenomenon she wanted to talk about. Imposter syndrome is one of them. Imposter syndrome. We were talking about work earlier, you know? I'm uh, like, I yeah. should be at work right now, but I took the day off. This is a beautiful thing. So, talking about work makes me think of how, and I think a lot of people go through this. I know for me, some days I'm sitting there doing a radio show like, am I really qualified to be doing this? Is this <laughs> real life? What? Wait, they trusted me with this microphone and all this equipment? Just, they, they trust me here? I think I can relate yeah. in the same respect, like 60 kids in a gym and I'm like, I'm in charge of these 60 children. Who <laughs> put me here? If one of them gets hurt, it's not my fault. Yeah. I did not agree to this, but no. <laughs> Right, and it's like, wait, I'm really qualified for this. You All really right. don't believe that your life is your life. Yep, it feels weird. Especially when you're like a few years 
into your career, I feel. Yeah. Uh, spoke with someone that said, like, five years into your career, you usually have, like, a, a moment where you're like, yes, this is what I want to do, or, like, what am I doing? Should I be doing something else? Yeah, you have that, like, reevaluation moment. That five-year moment is definitely that moment. But to be able to be off on a Friday and do this, I'm not reevaluating anything. No. That's the thing. You start to feel thankful for things that you don't normally think of. Like, it's so nice that I'm getting paid to do this right now. It's true. Paid time off is a gorgeous concept. To go down the lazy brook. We saw those inflatable kayakers earlier. We still haven't seen them. They're going forward. they gone. Like, they disappeared into somewhere. We're going to go find them again. Maybe we'll have the video rolling by then or not. I don't know. Uh... What else, Steph, bro? Of the lazy bro? Oh, the other phenomenon we were talking about. What was it? So earlier you brought up one of your high school friends and you were like, I haven't talked to him in a while and I'm really doing now. Isn't it wild that everybody you've worked with and been friends with in your life, even when you lose touch, like they're out there doing their thing. And it's just, sometimes I stop and I'm like, I wonder what so-and-so is doing right now. You know, someone that you haven't talked to in eight years. We say this all the time. Like we look at people in cars when we're driving down the interstate and we're like everybody here is going somewhere where are all you people going and where do you go at night is it home is yeah. it somewhere else right. where do you go at night i think about that at school i, I yeah. it's like 100 some kids 200 some kids a day depending on the day and it's like where do you all go at night where do you people sleep who's this feeding you it's such a small place it's wild it's the older you get the smaller the world becomes i think and I think it's especially crazy when someone that you're close with, like I think of our friends Olivia and Caden down in Nashville. Shout out Olivia Fireball, singer songwriter. Um, Olivia Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think of them, and you know, we we talk to them a couple times a week, like text back and forth a little, video chat, call on the phone every week or two. But still, there are so many things that happen in their life that are big things and crazy things and you just don't even know what's going on until weeks or even months later they're like oh yeah i forgot to tell you so and so happened it's so true Wait, what when you're like you got a new job huh right you did this wet wear when because Every, everybody is so busy and everybody's doing their own thing day to day yeah. so much happens and you can't keep in touch with everybody you want to that's the other thing that's so frustrating to me i'm like can i just make a group message with all my friends all my family and just give them daily updates <laughs> it'd be so much easier update feed it's called facebook you know right but we don't post on facebook that y much yeah we're not facebook or no. really social media people except no. for we are trying to be lazy brook people. We so. need to be better about that, but it's hard. I would like it if you would please like or subscribe to this channel. Uh, we're trying to grow this channel. Yeah. Please, <laughs> please like, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Reminds me of the guy that did the bike videos. Yes. I've gotten a lot of positive re, uh, feedback here, so we're trying to grow this here. <laughs> but we're just trying to share. Our adventures. This is a beautiful place you should all come to. Gifford Pincho State Park. Check it out. It's not good water right now, so I'm not going to show you anything underwater. But one day, I mean one one minute, someday eventually here. <laughs> we'll show you. We'll get more underwater footage. It's just really swampy. But it's really so peaceful back here and calm. There's nobody around. We're going to go find those inflatable kayaks and we'll get back with you. Maybe we can do an interview with them. Maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll see. see. Oh, back at ya for the lazy brook. This is a legit lazy brook episode. We are in, in the, brook. the brook of the laziness. <laughs> it's shallow enough that you can't kayak back there. But we did kayak all the way through that. So you'll see that there. We got pretty far back. But we wanted to sit in the lazy brook and just kind of contemplate everything and maybe do some would you rathers yeah so rapid fire step which one of your would you rathers all right would you rather be missing an arm or missing a leg and this edition comes to us inspired by the fact that we've been biking and hiking and kayaking this weekend everything so like, what would you rather have missing missing an arm or a leg i think yep. i'd rather be missing an arm really yeah i would rather be able to walk mm-hmm than to not walk. Yeah, I think I'm with you on that one. But then it comes to kayaking and you're like, well, that would stink. You yeah. figure it out, I'm you sure. You figure it out. People are amazing and resilient. They always figure it out. There would be a way, but that's yeah. a good one. All right, I have one for you then. 
Would you rather be camping or at the beach? Oh, I got some debris in my hair. The debris is in the hair. I think we got it out. Be camping or at the beach? Camping or at the beach? This you is a debris in your oh. face. <laughs> Get, whoops. <laughs> That's how you know you're in it. In the brook. In the brook of the laziness. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is hard for me because the beach has a big part of my heart. But now that we have a camper and we're camping all the time, I don't know if you can beat it. Because you can do it closer to home and for cheaper usually. And it's almost a beachy feeling. It really is because you can go to lakes, a lot of lakes and campgrounds. I mean, just look at the way the water is shimmering beaches. off of this stump, you know. Like it's, Pincho has a little beach. It's beachy. Yeah, it does. We'll have to show so, the listeners. I might have to pick camping because you get a little bit of both. You get all the things. Beaches. The little inchworm here is... Oh, he's floating now. So many little bugs. Whoops. But yeah, camping stove. All right, what's your other... Would you rather? I'll think of my other one too. Okay. Would you rather only ever be able to talk really loudly or talk really quietly? So you're either yelling all the time or whispering. Okay, I think I'd rather pick loudly just so people don't misunderstand me or not hear me. Especially with the kids at school. Of if you course. were whispering, they'd never hear you. Okay. They don't listen as it is half the time. It doesn't work for teaching, so yelling. Yelling. Yeah. So you, like you pull up to a drive through window. Can I please have a double cheeseburger? <laughs> like everything you say to anybody is yelling. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can. Hi, mom and dad. I love you. I wanted to see how your weekend was going. Yeah. Better than. How can I help you? Right. Nobody would ever hear you. Oh no. <laughs> your life would be a mess because you couldn't communicate with anybody. Just the people that you're home with, basically. Yep. Yeah. No. Yelling for sure. Um, What's yours? My second would you rather was... Would you rather... Own a camper? Or a timeshare in Florida? Oh. Timeshare in Florida would be beautiful. But the thing with a camper is... You can camp pretty affordably. Especially at state parks like Pinchot. Yep. Whereas going down to Florida... You'd be paying for either gas or a plane ticket. If you don't live there... Right. And if you don't live there, you don't have a timeshare there. Right. It's expensive. It and would then be you're amazing. there a couple weeks out of the year, maybe. Right. It would be amazing to have a timeshare there, but the camper, I think, we'd use more often. Because we can go two, three weekends a month if we want. More cost efficient. Right, yeah. right. What would you pick? Easily a camper. Yeah, I knew it. Easily a camper. Yep. No question. It's an easy question to answer for me. Well, the banana boat and the chili boat because I don't have a better name for the green boat. Chili boat. If, if you have a better name for the green kayak, please send it our way. We're going to head back downstream on the Lazy Brook, and we'll give you some more footage of the, the forest and the water, maybe. Hey, I have one more fun topic. Here we go. Fun All topic. Right. So, for me, I was trying to type inconvenience earlier this week, and I can never... Spell Does it word. auto spell it for you? Yes, auto autocorrect usually has your back, but I don't know. There's something about the e's and the i's and the e, the v's, and there's a lot going on. Convenience there. or inconvenience. Inconvenience. Yeah. It gets me every time. Also, the word guarantee. So I was wondering what the word is that trips you up every time. Easy, everybody has a word. Easy words usually trip me up. I'm trying to think of the one because I just wrote my entire master's paper over the last yes six months i feel you're finished with your thesis uh, the master's so thesis proud. is done what word did i continuously misspell i feel like i remember because we proofread your paper what was it mm. uh, it's one of those ones like convenience that yeah, has yeah, yeah. a bunch of i's and e's i forget what it was and i cannot remember what the word was i can't remember either but it was but an educational those... term, and yeah. I, yeah, it was yep. always misspelled. <sighs> I don't remember it. But yep. I swear, though, everybody has that word. It's like you can memorize it as much as you want, but you're never going to be able to spell it. Ever. My, yeah, guarantees like that for me. Every time I think I know how to spell it, it's wrong. G-U-A-R-N-T-E-E. Nope. G-U-A-R-A-N. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I, I, spe I spelled it wrong first, but. I was close-ish. Figured I'd wing it. Too. Yeah. Okay, so the type of place that we're in right now, there are trees growing out of trees. <laughs> like forests growing on top of each other. Plant life growing out of other plant life. 
It's like a prehistoric place that hasn't been touched. No one comes back this far in the creek. Which is the beauty of it. It's beautiful here. I wish I could show you underwater, but it is just cloudy. Everything is just cloudiness and fogginess because we're so far up creek that it's disturbed. Disturbances have happened. But we're gonna get you some more views of the, the water and the, the lake as soon as we get back to that area. We're paddling back now, so we're making our way back. Thanks for hanging out at the Lazy Brook. In the Lazy Brook. In the Lazy Brook, that's right. Lazy Brook back at it. In the middle of an underwater forest, literally, like. Check wow. it out, check this out. It is pretty unbelievable. Perfect. So, a little bit of I'm thankful for to wrap this up. Yeah. What do you think, Steph? I'm thankful that we live in a place where we get like such different weather. You know, like this weather huh? is beautiful and we're really lucky that we got this weather this weekend. For a person that hates winter, it's surprising to hear you say that. Well, I'm not thankful for winter. Just to be clear. Wow. But I I think like we're starting to look forward to fall camping as much as we don't want summer to be over. You know, you kind of get to the point where you're like, I'm ready for some like cool sweater football game weather, you yeah. know? So yeah. we're loving this, but I, we're also really looking forward to fall camping. It's going to be beautiful insane. here. Uh, we're going to try to enjoy the summer weather as much as possible while we can because yeah. we know that it's not going to last forever. It never lasts long enough. I think I'm pretty thankful that we live in an area not only that has different seasons and different weather, but it has different geography. Yeah. Um, lakes, rivers, mountains, creeks, all the things. Where I grew up, there was just like some fields and a lake. You know, not much diversity. Right. So we live in a really beautiful area for that. Not at all. It, it really does. does. So we'd like to conclude by saying, uh, be nice to somebody. Kiss your dog for me. And go enjoy somewhere like this as often as you can. Lazy Brook out.